previously on Impact New York. I suggested therapy because I really want us to reconnect. I feel like we've lost something so precious over the years and it breaks my heart. It's easy for you to say, Heaven. You and Gia had each other and Dad. I was left behind in the UK trying to figure out why it didn't matter enough to be with you both. I care, but it's hard to show that when I feel like all we do is fight. To talk about Cleo. Okay, what about her? I have heard from several people now that she's been talking about me and calling me a liar and saying everything I said about you is untrue. So? Cleo and I are happy, and if you can accept that, that's your problem. So can we talk about Scott? Crash year event. I know he's trying to get under my skin, but I promise I'm not bothered by him. He's trying so hard to make me look like the villain when we both have our faults. But if you want to go there, he need to be worried about the money he owes me. Wait, this man is creating lies about you while still owing you money? 20 grand to be exact. Scott has a long history of living beyond his means. Can we talk about that whole mess with Ella and Nadia's event? Oh, you mean the part where you got handled? If that's what you want to call it. Anyways... Did you hear Rails and Ella met up? Yeah, I heard. He was all nonchalant about it. Like he didn't care at all. Ella's still salty, but Rails, he pushed her concerns aside like she was nothing. Mm-hmm. I doubt Ella is salty. Let's not forget, she left him, not the other way around. Jordan, can we talk? I need to get something off my chest. Sure. What's up? It's about... My acting. I feel like you don't believe in me. Every time I bring it up, you shoot me down. You know, acting is a tough gig, Bria. You really think you're going to make it big? I just think you need to be realistic. Not everyone can be a star. You're holding me back because you're afraid of your own insecurities. You think I can't make it. Well, I will. And I won't let you or anyone else stop me. If you want to chase some pipe dream, go ahead. Just don't expect me to cheat you on when you fall flat. Like you just survived a hurricane. What's going on? More like a tornado. I met up with Rels the other day. Oh boy. Did he finally acknowledge that Cleo's a problem? Not even close. He thinks I should just handle Cleo on my own and that he doesn't want to get involved. It's infuriating. Seriously? Rails just wants to stick his head in the sand while Cleo plays puppet master. Rails' stupid ass really doesn't get it. Cleo is just trying to undermine my experiences with him, as if she was there, and Rails acts like it's not his problem. You need to show him that you're not going to let Cleo run over you. That girl thinks she can just walk into your life and take over. I don't want to get into a battle with her. I just want to co-parent and stay out of the way at this point. You shouldn't have to fight Cleo. Rails needs to be the one putting her in her place. If he doesn't want to be in the middle, then he needs to step up as a father. Honestly, Cleo thinks she's the queen, but she's really just a clown in Rails' circus. I'm Team Ella all the way. Cleo needs to know her role. It's just exhausting. I want to keep the peace for our son's sake, but how do I do that when they're constantly throwing shade? You don't. You keep being you. Rails needs to wake up and realize what's at stake here. Thanks, Scott. I just want to focus on the positives and not get dragged down by their drama. Speaking of positives, what's this I hear about another girl's night out? You, Gia, Nadia, and who else? I thought it'd be fun to include Bria. She seems new and cool. Just a chill night away from everything. Bria? Hmm. Are you sure about that? I heard some things. What have you heard? She seems nice. Well, you know how Nadia rolls. She has a gift for attracting trouble. I just don't want to get mixed up in it. I understand Scott's concerns, but I want to give Bria a chance. We can't judge someone based on rumors. Plus, I'm ready for a fun night without the usual drama. Come on, Scott. You can't just dismiss someone without knowing them. I mean, do you really want to hang out with someone who's part of Nadia's crew? 
You do know she's a little too comfortable with the idea of messing with married men, right? You're blowing this way out of proportion. Just because Nadia has a past doesn't mean Bria is like that. But you know how it goes. One friend can drag you into a whole mess. I just don't want to be stuck in a situation where I'm defending someone's bad choices. I just want to get to know Bria. She deserves a chance to be a part of the group without being judged right away. But just remember, if things go south, I'm out. I have enough friends. Thanks. I'm always here for Ella. But if Nadia brings her mess into my life again, it's a wrap. I like my drama on screen, not in real life. Deal. Just promise to keep an open mind about Bria, okay? Open mind, sure. But I'm still throwing shade if I see something I don't like. It's lovely to be at the fair with you. Right? The energy in here is amazing. I really do wish we had more moments like this when we were kids. I know. Sometimes I think about all the things I missed out on being in the UK. I really wanted to share all those experiences with you and Heaven. Having Ariana and I back on Good Times has been incredible. Therapy has really helped us. We better understand each other. And now I can really see just how much she really did miss being here. And I hope this make up for all of our lost time. I wish I could have been there for you, especially during the tough times. It's like we lost so many years to distance. Well, we are here now. Let's just make the most of it. Hey, you two. What's the Susily gossip? Hey, Nadia. Just catching up. How's everything with you? Let's just say I'm not feeling very festive today. I can't stand Scott right now. He keeps spreading these ridiculous rumors about me and marrying me like it's his personal mission. I'm so over it. And what's going on with Scott? He's out here making up rumors like always. Come on. You know Scott could be messy. That's one bitch that loved to stir the pot and be in motherfuckers business especially when it come to other people problems exactly now he's dragging my name through the mud for what because i said one bad thing during a personal phone call look i love scott down but he really is a messy bitch and he needs to understand his words have consequences so do you think you and scott could just make up and be friends i don't think so after everything he's done i don't see how we could go back to that look i love scott but i also see how messy that motherfucker is you're not wrong for feeling the way you do, but maybe it's worth it to just have a conversation with him, Nadia. I tried. Twice. It didn't work. I missed the friendship we had, but trust is hard to rebuild once it's broken. I don't know if it's possible with Scott. I know it's complicated, but what if you two could come to an understanding? It might be worth it for your peace of mind, boo. Maybe, but right now, I don't want to deal with him. I understand. Just know that I'm here for you, no matter who and no matter what. Thanks, Gia. I really appreciate it. So how about we enjoy this fair? Fuck Scott and just have some fun. All right, let's go get some fun case before they run out. Go to my hood. Say my party is good. To me and Dallas, the party inside of your baby clubs. Popping and things to go up and smoke in Los Angeles. Hey girl, just the person I wanted to talk to. What's up sis, spill the tea. So I finally stood my ground with Jordan. I told him I'm not letting his jealousy hold me back from pursuing my acting career anymore. Finally, Bria is stepping up. I've been waiting on her to realize that she deserves to follow her dreams. So what did he say when you told him? He wasn't happy. I'm sure he thinks I'm being selfish for wanting to focus on my career and that it's going to change everything between us. Selfish? Please, he should be cheering you on, not trying to keep you from shining. It feels amazing to finally set boundaries. I've let him have so much to say in my life, and I'm done with that. I want to be the star of my own show, not just his shadow. So where is he now? Probably moping at home, right? He said he was staying at a friend's house. What friend? You mean the imaginary ones he talks about? I don't know. He didn't say. Jordan barely has any friends. He's one of those guys who want to keep his girl close and everyone else far away. Makes me wonder if he's really staying with a friend or he's up to something shady. Oh, hold on, girl. Ella's calling. I'm going to add her in. Okay. Hey, Ella, you on the line with me and Bria. Hey, ladies. I wanted to talk to both Nadia and Bria because Scott had a lot to say about them. And I need to get the real scoop. So I met up with Scott the other day and he had a lot to say about the both of you. Oh, boy. Here we go. What did he say this time? Wait. Why does he have anything to say about me? We barely even know each other. 
He thinks you're just as messy as Nadia because y'all are friends. Typical Scott. He needs to be focused on paying me back that 20K he owes me instead of worry about my friends. That's crazy. Scott doesn't know me at all. If he needs that, I got something for him. I'm not going to let some guy who doesn't even know me judge me based on who I'm friends with. If Scott wants smoke, I'm ready to deliver. I was thinking of canceling the girls night because all of this drama. Instead, I'm going to Scott's food tasting event. We're, We're coming, coming to. to. Um, are you sure? I mean, maybe it's better if. No. We're definitely coming. Right. It's just better to address the issue in person. I wanted a chill night, but I should have known better. I just hope I didn't create the mess. I really admire what you're doing, Scott. Helping those kids means so much to the community. Yeah, it's inspiring. Not everybody will put in this kind of effort. Thank you, ladies. It's important to me. Everyone deserves a fair shot, especially the kids. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Scott the Saint. Nadia, what brings you here? Just here to drop out some truth bomb. You all know Scott, right? The charitable hero, the social media darling. Little do you know, he just a leech living off others. He owes money to half of the city, and he not just a generous guy he pretends to be. He just a bum with a smile. Oh, I'm just getting started. This my show, and I make sure everyone know who the real Scott is. You see what I mean, Ella? Classy as always. You know, Scott, it's funny you call her out when... You've got your own skeletons. What can I say? Drama loves company. Guys, maybe we should- You think you're so righteous because you throw a couple events? I heard you think you know me. Oh, I know you. Just like I know Nadia. You both thrive on chaos. Let's just enjoy the food and- No, no. Let's talk about how you threw around my name just to elevate your own. You know what, Bria? I'm standing on my truth. You want to confront me about rumors? Let's do it. I tried to be civil and not put her business out in the open, but since she's asking for it, so be it. Rumor has it that the only reason you landed the movie role is because you helped the director in more ways than one. But hey, a girl's gotta eat, right? That's ridiculous. I worked hard for that role. Right. Hard work. I didn't know that was code for late night favors. So let's get real here. Nadia. I just sold you 30K for that 20K you gave me, and I even added 10K for interest because money never sleeps, right? Are you trying to say that 20K wasn't a loan? Oh, it wasn't a loan. She offered to help, said I didn't have to pay it back because that's what friends do. But this situation, it just shows her true character. You think you can play games with me? <laughs> nah, girl, I'm not the one. Your messy antics might work in your world, but here, I'm not phased. You know what? You're like a bad investment. No return and all risk. So that's the narrative you want to go with? A loan? So what's next, Scott? Another event to raise funds for your image? Nah, I'm here for the kids, not my image. But I'm not ashamed to say I know who I am and where I stand. Let them talk. They can't handle the truth. And I'm just here for the kids. I'm not worried about a couple of messy characters. You just made I expose you. Mad. Nah, I'm just amused watching you flop around like a fish out of water. You should probably stick to swimming in shallow waters. The deep end isn't your style. Very clever, Scott. Just remember, shadow pools have a way of getting dirty. But let's be real, Nadia. You're nothing more than a sinking ship, desperately trying to stay afloat. You think this drama makes you relevant? Newsflash. It just makes you pathetic. You're so busy trying to drag others down that you forgot nobody's paying attention to you anymore. You're just a background noise, sweetie. Every time you open your mouth, all I hear is desperation. You've made a career out of being a joke, Nadia. You should consider retiring from this comedy act. Honestly, I'm starting to think Nadia's life is a series of bad decisions strung together by a desperate need for attention. She's the kind of person who makes you grateful for the ignore button. I can't decide if she's more like a mosquito, annoying and buzzing around trying to suck the life out of everything, or a soap opera villain who's just never quite convincing enough to be taken seriously. 
Her character arc is like a broken pencil. Pointless. I mean, how can someone be so extra and yet so utterly forgettable, right? Boy, I know you can't help but to be yourself around me. Yourself around me.